Today we're doing banana cookies and the yacht. Tapioca. I see we two. Mm hmm. I do you two. And carrots. Mm hmm. Slowly. So you guys are whisking the ambient. Ambient is sago palm from a, a palm tree. The inner pith of the palm tree makes this stuff, but we couldn't find palm trees, so instead we got potato starch and tapioca starch. Flour added the water just right, and now it is turning into this. And flour is just going to keep whisking like this. And then I'm gonna add some hot water in one second. Angie! Whisk. Now whisk, whisk, whisk. When we redo it when I'm a teenager to I'm an adult. Coconut shrimp. Oh, this one's for Angie. And mommy and daddy. And me. No, this is for me. And this is a little preschool. The cheese from Brazil. First, he loves it. And second, because he thinks it's a very funny name, uh, which is Romeo and Julieta. This is take two of trying to make a dish from Brunei because last time it didn't work. We used tapioca starch as a substitute because we couldn't find sago. Now, finally, thanks to Basha International Foods, we found sago. Welcome to the flowers cooking show. <laughs> no, it's my cooking show. No, it's my cooking show. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Brunei. So we need 500 grams of, of starch. There's the measuring cup. So let's get 500 grams exactly. Um, sago, where's the sago? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Sabadana flowers is sago. So this is my name. Is this in grams? Okay, so we need two of these cups. I was famous in my little bread, bread bun. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, wait. First step is making sure no plastic fell inside when we cut it. Because we don't want to eat plastic. Okay, so 500. Fill that cup right full. Don't spill any. Okay, stop. So that's um, 250. What's 250 times 2? 500. So dump it in the bowl. Now we're going to fill that up again to 250. Look at the powder, it's like clouds. Yeah, just dump it all in. Okay, so that's 500. Eat this cane, the sugar cane. So here's the shrimp paste. While we're waiting for the water to boil, we're going to prepare, uh, no flour, don't touch it. We're going to make a durian shrimp paste mix. Also, we're going to make bamboo chicken. So we got some frozen slender bamboo shoots here. And we're going to make it roast with some chicken in the oven. Yeah, I was, this was the plastic. Oh, good job. It's still hard. Here, I will help you. There. So, wait wait till I tell you, but we're going to put some in, in here. And shrimp paste is very smelly. It's boiling, boiling. I just hope this glass doesn't explode. Look, Mommy, it's ready. 
Daisy. Hi. We also today we at the morning we made a popsicle. We just made room, remove the cup and then we're ready to eat. No, no, no. I don't want to smell that. Mm -hmm. It's very smelly. Okay? I tell you if I go for this like forever. Yeah. It's okay, for what minute? So we got some beef tongue here. I didn't realize it was tongue. Can I see? That's the tongue of the cow. We got frozen slender bamboo shoots. We're gonna make some chicken with that. Finally success. Our ambient is working. Is it getting sticky? Mm -hmm. I want to try some because I think it... So this is actually take three. We got... This one turned out okay in clumps, but it is, we could use it in the dip. And this one is like rice, both of them are like rice. But third time should be the magic charm. This should work this time, once this water gets really boiling hot. Okay, so that's that for three minutes now, and it looks good. See how it turned into that? Mm -hmm. And now we pour the boiling water. That's what popped a bubble. Heat the water in a kettle and then pour it slowly into the container with the starch. Once the starch appears sticky, use a wooden spoon to start whisking it together. When it is done, bambi it will become firm and starchy. So pour it slowly. We got a bit of frozen durian paste here from TNT. So a little bit of durian here, mixed in with the, that shrimp paste. And then we're gonna kind of smash it in. Can you smell that? It's really good. No. And then this uh, is a uh, smell all over with strong smell. Uh, I don't like this smell that no more. This is the secret ingredient ingredients from Korea. Black pepper sauce. Yeah. So just a little bit of black pepper sauce there. Yep. That's what we're looking for. That color. Do you see that? Yeah. Can I eat that it? That is ambient. Can I eat it? Barbecue sauce from Taiwan. Both of the sides are smelly. These are bamboo shoots, so the chicken will not fit inside that, but we're gonna do it like this. Are there a Well, our first ever ambient is ready. We got the shrimp paste and durian mixed with some black pepper sauce. And we got some shrimp. And the ambient is in these three bowls. So we're gonna, I'll be the first one to try it. I'm gonna take some ambient here and dip it in the sauce. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to try some next. Good, hey? Yeah, and the popsicle is gooder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How is it? Good. Great. Chicken bamboo. Alright. Au revoir. Bye.